like the rounds on yeah. talk shows. You'll see them like on Regis and Kelly one day, and then uh, uh, what's her face, Rachel Ray, the yep. next day. Yeah, got to do the Rachel then Ray the thing. Then the Today Show, and then uh, Good Morning America. So you know that it's like they do the rounds in a few days. Yeah, and but the thing was about he came in and he he just nailed it. He was, cool, he was fantastic. And I got you know that was awesome to be able to shake his hand and uh, yeah, he's I like you. <laughs> so I guess I'm in. Yeah, uh, next time I'm in Hollywood, huh? But right after the show, he was out sitting in the lobby, him and his buddy and his, their ladies. Yep. Just sitting out there, just relaxing. People come by, say hello. They, you know, nothing rude, nothing like that of any sort going on, which is really good. I mean, on both sides of the fence, you know, yep. fans not being unruly and Tracy being able to relax and Tracy in turn not being a total jackass about things when you can get you know celebrities, musicians, and the like. You, they, they can be real awful towards the fans. A little booze involved too at that show. Uh, I ha- I had a beer. Oh, there too. yeah, and so I drank. they did have alcohol there. So yeah, yeah, I had a couple of drinks. I, not like get I got some people to get a little lippy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get full on liquefied though. I, I kind of took it easy. I, the janitor I, almost crashed into the window. <laughs> He, he's always locking. He's a crazy the, driver. You ever notice, like, when we walk out and come back in, he's always locking the door? <laughs> yeah. And he's like, always looking at us. I don't know why. It's kind of strange. Know. I don't know how many times <laughs> I've been locked out of the control room here at this station every now and then. You know, that air. <laughs> yeah, you just, yeah. You you don't step to the jam there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got some uh, news to talk about. Uh, of course, you guys, I can just tell by looking at you. We got a couple of Gleeks over here. Oh, the yeah. The show, Glee. <laughs> oh, man, I love Glee. Hey. I got it on TiVo. <laughs> I love it so much, I think I want to play something from the, the one of the many Glee soundtracks. Oh, yuck. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to talk over it because we got a story concerning uh, the Gleeks, unfortunately. And uh, we got a story here, and it says, This past August, Kings of Leon revealed that they turned down an offer to have their music featured on the show. Right Glee. on. Yeah, so they just basically said... Thank you, but uh, no thank you on, on that deal. And uh, our music isn't queuing up for some reason, but no big deal. Uh, this past August, they revealed that they turned down an offer to have their music featured on the TV hit Glee. Now, Kings of Leon guitarist Matthew Followell admitted to Spinner.com that the band had never, ever seen the show when they turned them down. Followell said that everybody took it so seriously uh, when we said no to Glee because it's everyone's favorite show. And they got backlash from many media outlets from it. Oh, yeah, I just, just start uh, basically the boycott of Kings of Leon because they didn't <laughs> show up on Glee. It, it, that's what happens when you, when you give a show too much power. But yeah. Definitely, yeah, Followell added that since Kings of Leon had become a lot more popular uh, and, and with the release of their new album, Come Around Sundown, they've received offers to have their music featured everywhere. But the guitarist said that there was a point when we decided we just, we just had to say no to everything like that because we didn't think it was cool. <laughs> Isn't it two brothers in that band? Ah, uh, yeah. Kings of Leon? I yeah. think so. And maybe a cousin? Something like that. It's a it's a family affair. Yeah. It's yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, yeah, definitely. And he added that they wanted to maintain a balance between the cool stuff and the not cool stuff. And uh, hopefully that's not going to be taken the wrong way. So fans of Glee, uh, it's unfortunate. But uh, Kings of Leon, uh, not quite ready to uh, to go on the show. and. Could you really blame them? I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's I, I mean, it's a quick paycheck. Yeah. You know, you know, n- you know, nonetheless. The kids are digging that show. Oh boy, are they ever! It's like something I, I don't know. I, I just maybe I'm just an old fogey or something. I just don't understand the whole uh, the whole. That's Glee just thing. too artsy for me. Too artsy or, or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, Sean. Do you think that that show's pulling the weight that Fox? I think so. I think right now this is it's probably it's you know biggest cash cow with a. American Idol be you know, basically on vacation for a while, and that show showing uh, signs that it's about ready to fall off the tracks it's too. It's been through so many cosmetics, you know, flipping out people on there. Oh yeah, Paula I mean, Abdul, she's gone. Yeah, Paula. Then you had uh, what's her face? It's got that uh, daytime show. Oh, Ellen. Yeah, the generous. She was on there. Yeah, what was the deal with that? I mean, where they were really obviously really reaching uh, when they went for the whole uh, Ellen DeGeneres thing. I, I really thought that that was a little little much, and, and considering that she's not a mu- you know coming from the music world, yeah, I would respect it more if it was an artist or a uh, well I think there were Paula Abdul was on there. I, I still think she's hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's uh, you know what? She used to be a cheerleader. Yeah, Laker girl. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we know uh, about that. Fantasy Should... time. <laughs> yeah. So uh, 
not really down with the glee, so you, we gotta we gotta raise our uh, glasses to the Kings of Leon for sticking to their guns. How about we play a track from the Kings of Leon's latest album, Come Around Sundown? Cool. Yeah, it's called The Immortals on the Tuesday Night Experiment. Tuesday Night Experiment, KSRQ 90.1 FM. Played a couple music cuts. I figure we'll give the listener a little break from our uh, jibba jabba there for a bit. Hold steady for Boys and Girls in America and Hot Soft Light. Right before that, we played some new stuff from Kings of Leon's latest, uh, Come Around Sundown with the Immortals. It's 725. It's a Tuesday night experiment with Sugar Sean and the Blind Dog. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Word, word up. <laughs> word up, Hot Stepper. We got some uh, music <laughs> news for you. And this has uh, been making the rounds here this week. A spokesperson for Journey is denying reports that surfaced this past Friday claiming that former lead singer Steve Perry had asked for his old job back. Ooh, that'd be awkward, huh? Painfully awkward. Okay, the report, which appears to have originated in the London tabloid, the Daily Star, claimed that Perry asked to rejoin the band after seeing the Glee cast perform Don't Stop Believe It's a Glee again oh, on the show. It's all over the place. You know, remember that when we were talking about that song being on The Sopranos? Now it's gotten into the Glee territory. <laughs> well, that report uh, featured a quote by Journey guitarist Neil Schoen, who allegedly said, The fact is, he's no longer the lead singer. He walked out, man. I think he limped out. I think he had a bad wheel or a bad hip or something at the time. That's a true story. But Journey's uh, rep told ABC News Radio that the report was, quote, not true. Say it is. Oh, oh, man. Well, they got that Filipino dude who sounds just like him. It said that he, uh, she had no idea where the Neil Schoen quote came from. <laughs> <laughs> Will they just catch him in a random moment? Uh, she out of the journey and wished nothing but the best for Steve. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I know. Journey. A slow dance classic. Sean, quit trying to grab Blind Dog to dance. We don't have, we have, <laughs> just because we have enough room in here doesn't mean you got There's to plenty of room to I do don't that. waltz that way. <laughs> Journey is currently working on a new album with their current singer, Arnell Pineda, a dead ringer for Perry vocally. Yeah, little Filipino dude. When he first came in and started pl playing with him and touring with him, he got so homesick. He was just, like, Filipino. beside himself. Filipino. I thought he was, like, Chinese or something. Filipino. He looks Chinese. I don't know. <laughs> Chinese, <laughs> Korean, they all look alike. I don't know. Right. Watch the History <laughs> Channel bunch, man. <laughs> you been on a Kids and County or they all look Marshall like County? To me. Or? They all look alike to me. Yeah, I, I, wow. <laughs> How old are you, like 85? <laughs> Somewhere in the middle. They'll release it next year, uh, Journey, in the new album with Arnel Pineda. And uh, follow it up with a world tour, according to the rap. Ugh. We all need the clowns to make us smile. Oh. And your phone is ringing. Took that thing to silence. <laughs> <laughs> or vibrate, I tell you. No pun uh, intended. There, there we go. go. <laughs> Look at that gnat sound there. I hate that sound. So Journey, n apparently not going to be uh, reuniting. With, with Steve Perry. Well, I think it's been some pretty harsh words have probably been spoken through the years. And I think Journey, they, they, they've been gone, going through like lead singers uh, uh, since the late 90s, mid-90s. I think they went through like three. Now, this uh, this Arnell Pineda is like their third or fourth guy. Jeez. And they phoned him on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Sean makes all those movies on YouTube. He thinks yeah, I like to be he's, discovered. He's going to get discovered. <laughs> what, are they going to discover the fact he can walk from one end of town to the other? <laughs> you never know. You know, YouTubers love it. Blind Dog and I tried that in the 90s, but we didn't have a YouTube. <laughs> no. <laughs> or a vehicle. That was yeah, the good well, old days, man. Yeah, when we were doing it not to get attention, we actually had to get somewhere. <laughs> well, things are different now. Oh, hoofing it all over town, man. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's a cr this guy, he's the viral sensation over here. Uh, you never know. One day, you I could be a... Uh, the city council meeting one of these days. You never know. One day, the Frankie Slauson show on YouTube, anyway. Well, not you, here. just Frankie <laughs> stuff. You lost that, right? You yes, lost the copyright but, to but the name. it's the name of my channel. Could be the next uh I think you should Fred. change the channel. <laughs> I, think, I really think yeah. we, we have to get Cody on the phone, who, who has your nickname. <laughs> Cody owns copyright to that now. Yeah, well, I I, I, I challenge him to rematch. Sugar, <laughs> Sugar Sean should be the, your website now. You have a new identity. Sugar Sean. Sugar Sean Slauson. Yeah, here I do, but uh, on the internet, here, on the interweb. What do you think? This oh, is boy. fake? <laughs> That's on the is. interweb, I am Frankie that, Slauson. That's insulting. Forever. <laughs> forever. I and don't forever. know about that. Court of law is going to probably not work in your favor on that one. The Slossinator. Yeah, he, last June, he loses the arm wrestling contest to a guy who weighs about minus 20 pounds. Jeez. Yeah, Skin he, and bones? Yeah. Good times you. never Cody's die a young. Oh, man. You know?